Dundee United against St Mirren. For Dundee United, it comes four days before their UEFA Cup final second leg, and what a boost their first Scottish Cup success would be. But Archie McPherson looks first at St Mirren, the side going for their first Cup triumph since 1959. I suppose geologists could tell you that in a billion years' time, the River Cart in Paisley might look like Niagara. The cynics in Scottish football until recently have been saying that's how long it'll be until St. Mirren win the Scottish Cup again. In many ways, the Paisley Shawl has given way to the Paisley Shroud, as mills closed and unemployment rose and the old traditions changed. But although Paisley merges into Glasgow in a way that means boundaries are difficult to detect, the town retains its clear identity. The Abbey is one identifiable profile, the football team is another. The local museum, not surprisingly, is latching on to the mood of civic pride by reminding its citizens and buddies that there is a fine cup pedigree and that winning is a tradition. The proudest photograph is that of the 59 finalists triumphing 3-1 over Aberdeen. Center forward Baker and Clooney always there. It's Clooney who wins again, but Miller who moves on to the ball. It's Miller now. St. Mary's left winger. A good one, a very good one. Two minutes of the first half to go, and it's Priceland who puts a man in front with a really picture goal. Glasgow Airport might only be five minutes away, but nobody's been rushing for European football trips recently as St Mirren have largely remained grounded. But Alex Smith sees the final as departure time into better days. It's a tremendous uplift to the whole area. Uh, this area has suffered a lot in uh, redundancies in recent years, and heavy industries have all been decimated in the, in the place and the people have needed a lift and I'm quite sure uh, or we hope to give them a lift uh, on the day. If you've lost your last four league matches it's not surprising when you're made underdogs. Equally when you have a Frank McGarvey in your side you cannot be written off completely. Five. For it was his goal for Celtic in the 100th Cup final which beat Dundee United. Haggerty gives Aiken. Good drifting ball it's there McGarvey. Yeah, I always remember that. That was a great feeling. I think, a, I think also it was a good way to go, to go away for, for Celtic. Um, I always like to leave clubs in the high note, so um, it, was, it was good and I got on well with the Celtic fans still. And I've got to live in Glasgow, so you've got to get on with them. So I think it's a good way to leave a team. In a sense, Frank, do you want to show during the cup final that maybe Celtic did the wrong thing in letting you go? I've no doubt Celtic have done the wrong thing, um, but I, I don't care about that, that's in the past now and um, I've no regrets about it at all, I'm, I'm quite happy now at St Mern. I just want to show the St Mern supporters that we can win the cup final. They beat Hearts well in the semi-final and the strong running of 20-year-old Ian Ferguson underlined what Tony Fitzpatrick sees as the team's assets complementing each other well. I think that the main feature is uh, our team all season has been the sort of togetherness of the team. It's not going to be about any individual winning the game for us. Uh, we'll be a, as a team and that'll be the thing on the day. If we can all work hard together and that's the feature we'll be looking for. If we play on the day, uh, we know it'll be, a, it'll be a difficult game. We've got every respect for uh, Dundee United and what they've achieved. But on the day, if we play, uh, we are capable of winning the in Dundee itself, they're trying to build restraint around their optimism. United are certainly favourites, but then, as they themselves have proved in Europe this season, the form book is as reliable as a roulette table. Tanadice, or as it's known in the better circles now, Tanadici, is tidying itself for the UEFA Cup final with Gothenburg, which doubles the pressure on Jim McLean. Yeah, it's a problem, but it's a nice problem. As far as I'm concerned, the time the trophies, uh, three of the four trophies we play for in the season are handed out as the end of the season. And fortunately, we're in there with a chance to two of them. And that's very nice, even for the standards that I set at Tanadice. I'm quite happy with that. But obviously, uh, we're hoping to win at least one of them, if not both of them. United have never won the Scottish Cup before, despite three previous attempts. And in their failures, they're faced with the inevitable notions of Hamden Hoodoo, which one of the current players, Ian Redford, helped establish in a League Cup final for Rangers. Hegarty, there's Redford, tries a chip, and it's there! I think the hoodoo, if there is a hoodoo, uh, seems to be Rangers more than anything because I think if you look back at the bad results Dundee United have had at hand, then I would say about probably about 80 to 90 percent of them have been against Rangers. So I would say that if there is a hoodoo at all, I think it must be against Rangers because uh, 
even since I've come here, uh, Rangers are the club that we seem to find the hardest of all to beat. Hamden, people say, is a place that we don't relish. But if we can get the ball down, if it's in good nick, I think uh, we can get start our passing game going. I think that could cause a lot of problems on the day. Do you expect it to be close? I think uh, there'll be one goal in it. But in the semi-final with Dundee, they expressed themselves with considerable character. John Holt, a good run by Holt. He always does that very well. Here's Ferguson. There's a shot. A oh, brilliant goal. Malpass teeing it up. Bowman tries to go on a great chance for Bowman and Ferguson. The entire Dundee team are in there and they can't stop. Hegarty. It is essential that our players and the St Mirren players realise that uh, it's an advert for football and it's a magnificent chance for us to, in my opinion, uh, set the record straight in that uh, there is very, very attractive games being played in Scotland and hopefully at Hamden, uh, both St Mirren and ourselves can prove that, obviously, as long as we're the better team and win it. <laughs> Dundee United against St Mirren in cup final sports scene in Scotland.